We're going to talk about segments of circles, and then we're going to talk about finding the area of the segments of a circle. First of all, the segment of a circle is a lot like the sector of a circle that we talked about in the previous video. So what we do is we take a sector of a circle, like that, and then we take a chord that connects the two radii, and then we subtract the triangle that forms from the two radii in the chord. What's left is that shaded part of the circle, which we will call a segment. So once again, we take a sector, and then we take a triangle, and when we subtract those two things, what's left is called a segment. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the area of those things. Now, in order to find the area of a segment of a circle, we do the exact same thing. We find the area of the sector, then we subtract the area of the triangle, and that gives us the area of the segment. So that's basically how we're going to do all of these problems. So this first one, we're going to find the area of the sector. The area of the sector, once again, is pi r squared times the fraction of the circle. So pi times 8 squared times 90 over 360, which is 1 fourth. So that ends up being 16 pi, the area of the triangle. Um, in these problems, you can find the area of the triangle using any method you want. One half base times height works in this one because we have a base and we have a height. But notice in all of the other problems that not is not necessarily the easiest way to go about it. So you can use Sokotoa, you can use a variety of other things. Typically in these problems, to find the area of the triangle, the easiest way to do it is using the formula one half times uh, side one times side two times the sine of the angle. Now notice that both sides are always gonna be the same because they're radii. So in this case, it's gonna be one half times eight times eight times the sine of 90 degrees. Now, uh, we don't really understand what's going on with sine of 90 degrees. That's not something that we talk about in trigonometry, but your calculator knows what to do with it. So you don't have to worry. All you have to do is type it in the calculator as long as it's in degree mode. If you type this in the calculator, you'll get 32. So to get the area of the segment, we do 16 pi, minus 32, and I get my final answer of 18.265 units squared. So that is the first problem. Second problem, I'm gonna do the same thing, so that this has a radius of nine. The area of the sector is going to be pi times nine squared, times 60 over 360, or times 1 sixth. And that's 27 pi over 2, or 27 over 2 pi. Or you can write it as 13.5 pi if you want. Now, the area of this triangle is going to be 1 half times 9. Notice that this side will be also 9, times the sine of 60. And that formula is something that uh, we talked about a little bit, especially when we were dealing with the area of a regular polygon. We talked about something like that. And then we have 1 half times 9 squared times the sine of 60. And this is going to be about 35.074. So the total area of the segment is going to be um, one of the first one minus the second one, which if I type that in the calculator, I get 7.337 units squared. Let's do two more of these really fast. Um, 
So this one, I'm going to find the area of the sector. It's pi times 14 squared times 135 over 360 because I'm finding this area. That ends up being about 230.907. And then the area of the triangle, well, that's this. So that's going to be 1 half times 14 times 14 times the sine of 135 degrees. That's about 69.296. And then what I will do is I will subtract those two things, and then that will get me the area of the segment. And the area of the segment is going to be about 161.611 units squared. Finally, the fourth problem, um, the area of the sector is pi times 11, so the radius is 11, pi times 11 squared times 156 over 360. I get 164.724 units squared. Then the area of the triangle, that's 1 half times 11 times 11 times the sine of 156, so I get 24.608 units squared for that. And then when I subtract them, I get the final area of the segment, and that ends up being 140.117 units squared. Now notice that when I subtracted these things, they I didn't get exactly like I would have got 0.116 or something like that. Uh, I just didn't round these in the calculator. Um, and when I didn't round them in the calculator, I ended up getting 0.117. But if you rounded them a little bit earlier, it probably wouldn't be that big of a deal.